said, welcome to your in-depth for yours and theirs. For those of you who are not familiar, yours and theirs is an energy read between yourself and someone else. Having said that, it may not be about a significant other spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover type situation, whoever fits the dynamic as I'm describing it. So it could be about a family member or friend. Do keep that in mind. But of course, a significant other as well. Like always, take it resonates, leave it does not. Reverse those energies as you see fit, more so with yours and theirs as energy exchange and interchange is real, rapid, and fluid. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, so they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, but normal. Check out the placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Also, additionally, <laughs> barely getting to this intro. I have a cold on top of my pollen allergies, so that's been really fun past week. Yeah. It hit hard, though. It hit hard. Three days, coughing, the phlegm, everything. And then it's exiting pretty quick. It's just, you know, the scratchiness and the, the vocal dipping and things like that. And point is, <clears throat> the heavy breathings here and the sniffling and the, the throat clearing and all that jazz. So, FYI. What's going on, please? Show me Sag and their person. Show me Sag and their person. Thank you for being sympathetic to those shellfish allergies. I discussed that for some random reason. I thought about it. It's like, why did I even talk about that? I don't... <laughs> on the check-in. I don't know why I brought it up. As some of you commiserated, so I know you understand. But no, we had a great time um, at the Japanese place. Yeah, I actually found a place that carries more than one kind of tuna roll, which is fantastic. Most places stop and start with one tuna roll. That's it. They had like three or four. I was like, yes, I love that. Salmon, too. Nice versatility with the fish there. Anyway, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> For those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, check out last week's Sunday check-in. <laughs> Sometimes I do. I, I admit I get chatty with the collectives. I don't know why. I don't know why. I'll just bring up something random and just start talking about it. And I just know that for some reason it was meant to be a point of conversation to whoever the heck it is I'm talking to. There you go. What's going on? Hashtag random. <laughs> random combo. <laughs> Which is sort for conversation. What's going on? Please show me Sagittarius and their person. Show me Sagittarius and their person. Show me Sagittarius, please, and their person. What's going on, please? Show me Sagittarius and their person. What's going on? The hanged man, the emperor. Ooh, could your energy get a little sharper if you put? Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh, that's a kind of quiet but firm energy. You know what I'm saying? It's a little intimidating. It's a little sexy. It's a little. What are they thinking? What are they doing? That's what you're showing today, honey. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. You know those types? It's like uh, don't say something till you have something to say. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm looking at. You keep your thoughts to yourself. And uh, you probably don't make a move until you're ready to empowerment. It's interesting. What that has to do with anybody or connection, I don't know. You're packing quite a bit of energy today, like I said. Okay. Eight of cups, four of cups, justice. <sighs> Someone is deeply detached and unhappy about it. Um... They don't like what's going on with themselves and also what they're saying by extension with you. That's a lot of emotional upsetness. Uh, I'm not here. I'm trying not to take it personally. I'm not trying to be, you know, attached to this, but also, yes, I am, four cups. So between these bouts of I'm not really here, I'm emotionally checked out and I don't really care, they actually do. Four cups, so that's a contradiction. Um, so I'm seeing it as going back and forth between these modalities of I'm not here, I'm checked out. I'm emotionally unresponsive. I'm not available to. I'm actually upset for cups and I'm I'm upset. I'm upset, which is again the opposite of being emotionally checked out. So we go back and forth between I'm not here, don't be looking for me to I am here, pay attention to me, I'm upset. Huh. And then justice there. I I'm, I'm going to go ahead and default to they're trying to find the balance in their emotions and therefore possibly with you. Uh, it's a little too hopscotchy for me, but justice is there. I mean, back and forth, up and down. You know, I'm here today, I'm not here tomorrow. And somewhere in between, 
there's the truth of my feelings and or thoughts. And we have justice here. I, I hope that we can find a, a balance of what our real thoughts and feelings are, because that's, that's not going to be helpful to anybody. I commiserate, but also I can see that this has been an ongoing pattern for this person. Okay. That means we've had time to understand it. The Hermit, Nine of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. We, we want to understand what's going on with the other person. Someone here wants to shed light on the situation. And uh, kind of asking the other person, who are you? And what do you want? What are we trying to discover here? Um, Eight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles. Do you know yourself? Do I know you for that matter? Do I know myself? I don't think you need to ask that of yourself too much. You have such a commanding spirit attached to you and sense of self, direction, purpose, drive, focus. Okay. Um, but we have one person, I, 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 I want to see you. I want to discover you. What is you, what makes you, you eight of swords should not be over the nine of pentacles. Again, that's a contradiction. Nine of pentacles suggest I know who I am. There's nothing I can't do if it's what I want to do. And I'm good at it. <laughs> I can make me secure. I can feel good about my own efforts and endeavors in this life because I did it. I stood on my own two feet and did it. And the eight of swords says, I can't see none of that. So that kind of just says the real me is in there somewhere, but I can't see it or I don't want to. Um, the hermit says, I would like to know more. Let's talk about it. Let's heal about this. Let's the like, ten of swords is in the overview. There's pain. I don't know if there's an ending in here, but there's pain. I see it. Let's see that ten of swords. We're going to start right there. <clears throat> Let's see that ten of swords, please. Some of that Ten of Swords, some of that Ten of Swords. Let's see that Ten of Swords, please. Some of that Ten of Swords. So many interesting stories today. I have to say, this round I did has to be some of the most interesting years and theirs I've seen in a long time. People are giving me so much more depth lately, and uh, I'm I'm loving it. I, really, I just wish I got this kind of depth when I don't have a freaking cold. <laughs> it's it's fascinating what people have been showing me recently. Two of Pentacles, two of Cups, three of Cups. Look, do we are we still on the same page or not? That's all this is. And it's a big question though, because it's an outstanding question, which is no good in my book. If you have to ask the question this long, you already know the answer. But like I said, Ten of Swords is not necessarily an absolute conclusion that something's over. It can be an indication of tipping point, a chasm, where everything can fall through the cracks. It could be a marker, final warning, you name it. But the baseline is going to be, this is painful, and I don't know if there's any hope left. That's the Ten of Swords. And what's the hope here? Okay, what's the hope? Do we still love each other in some way? Again, it may not be romantic, but do we still have equal feelings? Are we still on the same fucking page? Because when three cups, when we try to connect, it's hard. It's really hard, and I can actually see this really well on the person's downline. It's, it's like when they're checked out, they want to be checked out, but when they're upset, they want you to know they're upset. So again, it's like somebody's trying to have it both ways. Leave me alone when I want to be left alone, but pay attention to my emotions when I'm upset. And someone here is generously wants to know, who are you really? How do you see yourself? How do you see us? How do you see me? Let's talk about it. And that's been the primary question, isn't it? And for some time, too, is our love equal? Because it feels like we struggle hard to bring it together. So does that mean it's for us anymore? Or is that what we're about anymore? Because it hurts like hell. It hurts like hell to keep trying it. Because three cups is really basic, guys. At this point, we're talking about just trying to make it connect at all. Trying to sip off each other's cups and act like you still enjoy it, the both of you. And by that, I mean it's a metaphor for love. Trying to sip, give and take each other's love and still have the desire to do so willfully is getting harder to do. Yeah. 
do you refuel each other in the hard space? Is it still equal? Because it feels like we've been dancing around that subject for a while, possibly a year or more for some of you. And you two might have had a round recently that put that back into spotlight, a recent occurrence, a recent issue, where you kind of stop and had that moment where you stood and looked at the other person. It's like, what are we doing? Why did you do that? Why did you say that? You know that hurts. There was, there was a really fresh reminder of an ongoing issue, wasn't there? That's a super fresh, ongoing reminder. I believe. Yes, that was my jaw. It's in the effort to clear my ears because the pressure's high. Let's see that hanged man. Oh, it's really real and people bitch all the time. Do you know you're a heavy breather? No, I've never heard that before. No one's ever told me that. <laughs> No, yeah, I, it's called pollen-induced asthma or allergies. It's very difficult for me to breathe this time of year. Yes, I'm aware of it. It's not like I'm out here having fun trying to piss people off with my heavy breathing. And it's like, how dare you ask me to be tolerant of your condition? You should know how annoying it is. If you don't think the comments don't get like that, I promise you they do. Oh, they do. You just don't see it. Because I or my moderator eliminates the nonsense. Okay. Um... You know, <laughs> it really does. I have people write me emails about how much I annoy them. <laughs> it's like, you do realize this is not a show on HBO or Hulu where there's actors and everything's polished and they don't have breathing issues, right? <laughs> like, I'm a real person. <laughs> I work from home. Yeah. And yes, I have filters and everything's like that. I have all the stuff. I have all the stuff, you guys. Um, that's That's not the point. This is a functioning baseline for me, if you can believe it. The Hanged Man. Anyway, I'm sorry. The world. Oh, yes. Queen of Cups. Ah, oh, the three. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you got to the heart of the issue pretty quickly there. Your, 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 your finger is definitely on the nerve here. And to your full credit, excuse me, you are keeping yourself in check to explore said nerve while your finger's on it. Wow. This is a very level-headed sad. You're not trying to take the current situation for granted at all. You really are trying to exercise perspective over this. And you're asking yourself one diligent question, and it harkens back to this over, I believe, a recent is incident over an ongoing issue. Here it is. Is the love over between us? Yes or no? And that's all you want to know. And you're thinking about it. You're not acting on it. You're thinking on it. And it feels really real to you. Because you can feel the rejection in your heart. Honey, what happened? There was a recent incident. I'm so sorry. Incident. And I have a speech impediment. I do things in three, honey. I, do. <laughs> I really do. I do things in three. I don't do any half measures. No, no, no. <laughs> I got to laugh at myself. I'm an adult. I'm a 43-year-old woman, honey. If you can't laugh at yourself, we all got problems. All right. The world, Queen of Cups, and the Three of Swords. I mean, this that's exactly what that looks like, right? The maturity to know better. Let's pause and think about this realistically. Like how I view myself sometimes. This is what's going on. This is the real, real. I think my heart space for this is over, and it hurts. And I have recent evidence of it as well. There was a recent reminder of this, wasn't there? What you have been suspecting, thinking, and possibly pulling backwards there in your energy for a long time. I don't think I have love for this anymore. But you're not acting on it. You're still processing it. What does that mean? And you had a fresh reminder. Okay. And I am sorry. And only share if you want to, guys. Only share if you want to. Okay? Okay. Let's see that emperor, please. Let's see that emperor, please. Show me. Show me the emperor, please. You know what kind of day it is? When you realize your love is suspended, put on a shelf, or it doesn't mean anything to that person anymore if it ever did. That's a hard day. But you're not acting on it. No, no, no. You're not acting on it. Not yet. I don't think so. 
the way this person goes back and forth between extreme emotions, I'm not here, leave me alone, to I'm here and I expect you to pay attention to me. It's mm, Ace of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, part of you. Still haven't acted on whatever this is. I haven't seen you exited it. What I see you doing, Eight of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, is slowly trying to reintroduce work into this. I'm not sure why. Is something that you feel that you have to do. It's kind of giving me fair shot vibes, if I'm being honest with you. This is something I would expect an empowered person to do, particularly if you are in a very tricky process of understanding if your heart for this is really over. Okay. I think you are showing me what I would call fair shot vibes. Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, that is slow, steady, practiced energy to putting authentic self into something with the idea of renewing some positive energy, positive effort. But the Eight and Knight of Pentacles automatically puts it into 3D and said, I'm putting some of my best self into this. I need to understand if this still means something to me. And I mean it. I mean it. A thousand percent I mean it. The Emperor here. Backing up some beautiful energy. Because you want to understand. You want to understand and you want to understand specifically if you still have reason to hope for this. Or is your heart really over for this? I told you you weren't acting on it. Not all aces are new. Most of them are renewed. This is practice effort over hope. Okay. Queen of Swords. Could you have the opportunity for new? Absolutely. That's also there. But we're not done dancing around the subject yet because you want a clear answer. You're putting some of your most valiant, I would say valiant, I'm using that word, ladies and gentlemen, valiant effort into this. Not so much for them. It's more like for you. You understand that they are showing you emotional confliction. I'm here, I'm not here. Okay. So it's coming down to your heart space. Is this really over or dead inside for me? I think that's very wise of you. How else do you know what to put yourself into? You got to figure that out. Let's say that Queen of Swords, some of that Queen of Swords, some of that Queen of Swords. I will say this, honey. If they can't appreciate that kind of effort, they're full. That's some beautiful work right there. Okay. And you mean it. And that's the most authentic self you can get in order to discover if you still have emotion for this. You got to put up some really strong effort sometimes and then you know. And here's my warning to you on this. It's beautiful and I, valiant. I applaud you. But if they cannot meet you even halfway, I want you to know. Okay? Save yourself some bullshit right now. Let's see that Queen of Swords, please. Let's see that Queen of Swords. Some of that Queen of Swords. Some of that Queen of Swords. Strength. Oh, I know you got strength, baby. Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands. Okay. Okay. You're saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I got strength. I got str I believe you. You also have a passionate side, too. I know you like to be right. <laughs> I know you like to be right, and maybe you are. I know you got pride. I know. I see that. You're hoping that with your valiant efforts here and showing how strong you are, that they will reciprocate and open up towards you. I understand. Uh, you're showcasing a lot of skill today. Behind it, though, this is private to you. I don't think you expressed this to them. I don't know if I still love you. So I'm going to put a really strong effort in here, and that should tell me if I still love you, and hopefully you'll reciprocate. You're not saying that. That's the motivation. There's the 3D output. Here's what's behind it. Okay. Are we square? Are we on the same page here? Remember how this got kicked off with the incident? The latest incident over what looks like a long span of time. A couple of years, maybe. Okay. 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 Let's see if we do it. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes down. Eight of cups, four of cups, justice. Like I said, I'm not here. Leave me alone. I am here. Pay attention to me. Um, and it, 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 it feels a little too roundabout for me. In other words, it's on a merry-go-round. I don't like that. Now, I understand if someone's not emotionally available in the heart, 
But the fact that we're not doing anything about it, that's bothersome. To the point that we're becoming negligent with someone else's emotions that we are meant to support and love. That's a problem. Okay. Um, and it puts you in a position of understanding. I need to answer this question for myself. Let's see that Eight of Cups, please. <clears throat> the world. Okay, just death. Look, I, I'm I'm already <laughs> I'm having issues with this one. I'm having issues. I'm having issues. I'm having issues. Okay. With Leo, I said fair is fair. Okay? Leo was right, their person was right, their rights don't match. That happens. It does. It does happen. This, 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 this is not fair. I'm having an issue with this one. Okay, just my red flag alert's going up, up, up with this one. I don't like. First of all, I do not like hardcore swinging emotions. I'm not here. Leave me alone. Don't bother me. I want to be distant. To I'm upset. I'm present, and I expect you to pay attention. This is a hard swinging spectrum. Okay, and the fact that it's attached to a four of cups means that it's cyclic. This is what I call the merry-go-fuck-around. Okay, yes, we're past the ten minutes. I had to do a check. It's like, uh oh, <laughs> I may not get paid for this one. <laughs> it's like that on YouTube. It's like that. I have to be past the ten minutes. So I, mm, mm, mm. I'm having problems with this. Okay, just let you know. The world paid to sword's death. That's zero insight. Let me, let me, I'll show you my calculations. Emotional absence, unavailable, leave me alone, don't bother me, I'm walking away, but it's emotional. I told you, there's a good chance this is a cycle. It is. Page of swords, no insight. Death, not lying, uh, not trying to, not trying to have any insights at all. It's like they're trying to will themselves to give up caring, but they can't quite push it over the finish line. Okay. Like they can't, they haven't quite figured out how to stop caring about this, but they'd like to. I have a problem. I have a problem with it. Let's see that four of cups, please. It's almost like they want you to not care. They don't want you to care about how they don't care. I'm not sure how to put that. But then four cups, it snaps back and says, I'm upset. And I need you to know I'm upset. So people who swing wildly back and forth between leave me alone and then pay attention to me always make me nervous. Because that means they're fighting an invisible fight that has nothing to do with you, them, or they. It's it's unresolved issues in them. Let's see that four of cups, please. Uh, 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 the wheel of fortune. Ten of wands. Judgment. So much time. just feels like they've given up they've given up and they don't know how to break the circle they don't know how to break the circle of going back and forth back and forth like this and they want you to stop trying and to stop caring between their 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 wildly swinging states of I'm here and I'm not here and I'm here and I'm not here wheel of fortune judgment ten of wands it's They have a lesson attached to them. They have a lesson attached to them. They're making this so hard on themselves. They're making this so freaking hard on them. They're so resistant to insight and understanding. And a kind of emotional equilibrium. And how they got you caught up in this cycle. And it's almost like they want you to stop caring. And I got news for you. If that's what they were going for, they ain't far off. 
when you're upside down contemplating your own heart space for someone and it breaks your heart and the things that they say or do to push you further away and then they get to double down and act like that's at their choice or leisure to treat someone like that. I had a problem with it. And then what do you do? You show up bearing more effort, more goodwill, more good energy. It's going to be all right. And you want them to look upon you admirably with your effort. It, it really breaks my heart. The difference between you two is so high. I, I, let's see justice here. They have one, two, three, four majors on this emotional insecurity. Justice. Show me justice, please. Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. It's a person is very resistant to healing and insight. What they do is they balance with you in the 3D and act like it's cool. Um, um, that's that person who's technically showing up to do their job. You have such a huge sense of I'm going to make this work and I'm going to put the best of myself into it in order to understand if my heart space is truly out of this. In other words, you're doing all the right things that I would see a healthy person choose to do in a connection that actually meant something to them. They fight for it in all the right healthy ways. Because they, the healthy person asks themselves, is there something more I could be doing? Is there something else I could demonstrate? And that's why I said, I want you to look at this situation carefully because bless you, you're doing all the right things. You're asking the right, excuse me, the right questions. But be prepared if you don't see that same level of effort given back to you, because then you have an answer. It's just probably not the one you want. They 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 reserve healing for a source of the four pentacles. They actively refrain from it. And therefore think balance with you is showing up to do whatever their daily duties are with you. Then they call it fair. It's like you can't have me emotionally. They made that clear. Except when they want you to pay attention and when they're upset. Then apparently you're supposed to be a participant. Um, but it's kind of like, don't expect me to change. Four swords to four pinnacles. I refuse to have insider healing on this situation. So don't expect me to emotionally be there. I, I reserve the right to check out if I want and I reserve the right to be upset if I want. But don't expect me to show up consistently or in a healthy manner like you do. Just be glad I show up at all. That's the energy. And it's so wildly, wildly different from yours. Just be glad I'm showing up at all. Given this person's emotional absence and, and, and wild swinging, maybe they're right. Maybe they're right. All you want is for them to be proud of you. And to see that light in their eyes once more. Look how strong I'm being and um, I'm carrying on for the both of us and there's hope and I'm putting real work into this. And they're like, don't count me in on that. I give up. But I'll show up and I want to be able, I want everyone to be able to say that I showed up. Six Pinnacles, Justice. And this is that person's vision of balance and it's, why are I... <sighs> Let's get over here. Let's say the hermit, please. The fact that they've given up and they want you to give up too. And here you are, bless you, back here. I wonder if my heart's still in it. It's on me to answer that question, so I'm going to rise to the occasion. And they fall like a, a poorly constructed souffle. They fall. They collapse. It's like, why won't you just give up like I do? I Sagi, honey, I don't... Who the hell am I reading? Jesus, the hermit. Show me the hermit, please. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. <clears throat> Show me the hermit. Show me the hermit. 
so deep. This is so very, very, uh, very, very, extremely very different reading for the collective. So you may not be Sag dominant. It might be a minor placement. Um, I just, I, <laughs> the flatness, the dis, I give up. There's no hope. I, I don't want to. It's too hard to learn lessons right now. It, it's always too hard to learn lessons. It, look at that. The flat out refusal to try and understand. I mean, this is wild. Five of Cups, Two of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. I know. That's all you want to do is heal with them. The worst parts, the Five of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, Two you want to assuage this fear of abandonment. You don't want it to be true. You don't want the physical abandonment to be true. You don't want the emotional abandonment to be true. You say that that decision is there, two of wands. You'd rather avoid it if you could. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Nine of Pentacles. Honey, I, you know, if they've given up... Uh, Why does something feel like such a tragic, inevitable tragedy attached to this person? Like they, they can't move on, but they can't engage. They can't grow up or grow into a new form or a higher form. They just, they just want to be able to say all is fair in the end. And it's not. It's not fair to them and it's not fair to you. You get to choose your level of participation. Why you're showing me such goodwill and valiance towards this, I have not a clue, especially when they've given you so little to work with. Um, I, I don't know. Temperance, Page of Cups, the Hierophant. You want so much for this person to commit to their own healing. You want so much for this person to commit to their own healing. Um, there you are, you're in there. And you would help them. It's like I, I made that particular commitment. I want to help you heal. It's my responsibility. It's, it's, it's not just yours. They have an active role to play in their own sense of self, drive, purpose, and healing, and they want none of it. So why are you assuming all of it? Eight of Swords. You work very hard to reassure them. But the thing is, honey, even you know your heart for this has faded. Okay. Let's see the Eight of Swords, some of the Eight of Swords, some of the Eight of Swords. This is wild. You want them to be brave and strong and commit to healing just like you have. And they haven't. Nowhere near it. They just want to accept it as it is. Judgment. Five of Swords. The Knights of Cups. Yeah, please don't ignore your judgment call here, honey. Or there's somebody here is ignoring it. They're trying to. Uh, they're saying whoever here is lying to themselves about still having feeling for this. It's exactly that. It's a lie. Uh, the willful blindness here. The eight of swords all but guarantees that this person is either you or them. I'm going to go ahead and lean towards them as judgment was literally at the dead center of the reading. Also uh, assigned to their downline. That they still love this. They refuse to see it. It's a lie. It's a lie. Do they tell themselves that's probably the nicest thing they've said to you so far. It's the, probably the worst thing they could lie about. I have never seen something this objectionable. I have never seen somebody so committed to someone else's healing. And at first I was like, okay, good. You're asking yourself the right, and you are. I don't know that I still love this. I had better find out. So you rise to the occasion. Is this the first... I'm going to take a crack at this. 
Is this the first time you really thought with this fresh incident about leaving this? Is this the first time? Because this is the kind of thing I would see in a relationship where somebody still believes in the cause, still believes in the commitment, still possibly believes in the love and making this work through pride and dedication. And there's one person who is completely unresponsive. Is that what I'm saying here? The first time we're seeing this break and or ending seriously, and therefore one of you is rising to the occasion and one of somebody else is failing spectacularly. Is that what I'm saying? Typically when people have a couple of radios of breaks, that's exactly what it's like. It's practice up until the main thing. Um, this past incident... We realize we've been how hard it is to connect with this in a loving way, and it has been for a hot minute. I see you spending a lot of time trying to reassure yourself and this person. I'm not going to break from this. We can work through this. We can, and, and I said, and I specifically told you, make sure you're receiving it too. That's how you know to take it seriously. I see one person offering to fix, offering to rise above, tell me how to help. It, and while you're running this background check, do I still love this? Do I still love this? You are doing everything you can to answer that question. So I know, therefore, by default, you still do. But I don't see the respect being returned to you. In fact, you're just being met with more obstinance, more difficulty, more bullshit. Widely swinging back and forth, and they're like, you know what? You're lucky I show up. Oh, my. I got one person dedicated to the individual healing and I got another person outright lying to themselves that they still love this. I know you do. You wanted to know if you still have heart space for this? Yes, of course you fucking do. Look how you put yourself into it. You answered your own question by action alone and your commitment to the cause. It's, it's like you're giving unnecessary reassurance to someone who doesn't want to be this anymore. It's, this is, this is an outright lie. It's a lesson in stop ignoring the truth. You don't feel anything for this anymore. Just own it. Just own it. That would explain the lethargy. That would explain the back and forth, the extremes of leave me alone and then also pay attention to me. You're lucky I showed up for anything. And here you are. You don't question any of it. Oh, Saggy, honey. No, 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 no. Oh my God. It breaks my heart. Okay. I... Oh, oh my goodness. Let's see, what do we have here? There's that Ace of Wands, that energy, that insistence of renewal, and the hot and cold, as we've discussed. Okay, the tower. And a whole bunch of other ones. Okay, let's try that again, shall we? Let's try that again. No. No, I'm sorry, you're... You put that kind of time, energy, and effort into someone who is worthy of it. And that was your whole point. Epiphany. Yeah, somebody somewhere needs it. We need an epiphany here. And if you wanted to know that you still love them, the answer is yes. You do. But it seems to have turned into a care case. I care. You must have, you must care about this person and how far down the track they've gone. Honestly. Because you keep advocating that they commit to their own health. And it's like, I'm going to care for you because I can see that you can't care for yourself. It's something like that. And what do you get? I have to tell myself I still have feelings for this, even though it's a lie. Judgments attached to them for that. Last summer for some of you, summer's in reverse, or this is playing out now. Before we enter the next summer, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. Or before your next summer, regardless of where you are in the world. Before summer. So for some of you, this is playing out now. Growth. <laughs> Growth. Growth. Summer seems to be a big point here. In terms of reference, prior to summer, and then over the course of the summer, I see somebody's sense of self turning in another direction. Nostalgia and memory. This is where we typically see the Six of Cups. So we're having epiphanies here prior to summer, but around summer timeline for some of you. You'll have a growth spurt 
possibly in another direction. I don't know what this means, but it's typically the Six of Cups. Whatever this is, is not that. Okay. Okay. Spring. What about it? The courage to change. That's when you dark night. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I told you, you had an incident that brought up the charges, if you will, of what the heck's been going on. And that incident was spring. And that's what made you go upside down and question your own feelings for this and dark night of the soul, if you will. And do you have the courage to change? And you're like, you know what? Before I change a darn thing, I'm going to rise to the occasion and put the best of myself into this. And so you have, and somehow it translated to proving to yourself that you still have heart space for this or not, to a personal challenge to make sure that they do better for themselves. I don't know how that happened, but it became more and more of a sticking point. The more you tried to rise to the occasion, for some reason you saw how much work they had to do. And it's like, I need you to commit to your healing. We got to commit to your healing, bro, sis. And then it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I'm not going to leave you. I'm not going to abandon you. How did that translate? Sag, from questioning the love to now we are legitimately committed to this person's sense of self and healing. And the outcome is that somebody here, and I believe it's them, is lying to themselves about how they love you. All that. No. 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 That's my professional opinion. No. No. It is not enough to say I'm clocking in and clocking out at the end. That's what you should be happy that I'm even doing that. I understand this person probably has a wealth of stuff that needs to be fixed. Okay, fine. Dedication to the cause, commitment, you name it. But the lack of the authentic self to show up and appreciate it pisses me off. It's just a fancier form of rejection between going back and forth between I'm not here, don't count on me, you can't have my emotional self too, here's my emotional self and it's all the worst parts, deal with it. Because I refuse to. And then what do you, what do you get? Forced feedback that they still love you? Mm -mm. Excuse me, yes, I have a problem with this. Oh, good night. I hope this helped you. I'm exquisitely worked up now. I am so worked up now. It's, this frustrates me. I want to see more progress for this situation. Um, because right now you still have a conclusion. Good God. You still have a conclusion. You do. You do. It's the one that you chose, at least for the side I'm looking at. Terror doesn't dictate action. You do. Terror is the proof of choice, not the absence of it. You honestly think this is where your best time, energy, and effort is spent. And you actually believe that authentically. Therefore, who am I to argue with that? What I disapprove of is what you're being met with. That's what I disapprove of. But honestly, you've been consolidated this whole time. So I really, it's not my place to say. I just don't want you to get hurt. Okay? But you still got to do what you think is right for you. That's all any of us can do. So in this respect, I support your decision. I hope it helped you. Put it in the comments. Take care. Be well.